Hello my dudes, today we are playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest mod. And we're in downtown, although we are leaving downtown Need a ride? immediately to go to Santa Monica's beach because we're going to be doing the Elizabeth Thane quest. Which is all about being sneaky and we can turn invisible, so should be a good fit, you know, if you don't take into account user error. And this user errors a lot, so maybe not so much. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. How fleet your feet, Mercury. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Farewell. And I guess we can talk to Lily and see if she'll take her stuff back. I mean, we were in the process of blackmailing her when we found her at the blood clinic because our humanity is so low that it, it didn't give us any other option. So that might come up again, but hopefully she'll just take her you stuff. You might have saved me, but I can't look at you. To think anyone could be so compassionate, so heartless. I am not the poisonous weed. I'm so glad we're together. Give me mixed signals there, Lily. Okay, I'm not sure. Like, there's a guy up here. Who will? Oh, we should have drank some blood before we went. Well, let's see how far we can get without invisibility. My guess is not very far, but. You know, we'll put in the effort. There's a guy up here who thinks you're a reporter that he has been bribed by. If you ha have a high enough persuasion. Yo, Pally, over here. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Uh, yeah, let's just dement him. Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. What do you got for All right, us? Look, I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Dilly and dally are strange bedfellows. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? I shall sail towards this beautiful beacon. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. I think I remember. Oh. Oh, we printed Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a Belize face. <laughs> Well, that was, that did not go as planned. So the thing is, you want to do this all sneaky-like, so you can get the great new apartment.
Okay, let's see if we can walk pick this one. We didn't actually kill that guy. So hopefully that is good enough. What? Wait, let me. Why is our lock picking at three? We're gonna have to increase that. This is, you know, all my fault for not. Uh, we're gonna have to hysteria this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it right there! Please! Come out with your hands up! <laughs> okay. We got it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we did that, not very sneakily, but we didn't kill anyone. Hopefully that's good enough to get the new apartment. Because that's, you know, our main... Yeah, we gotta go report back to the print. But before that, we're gonna stop and eat someone. So I know a couple good spots in Santa Monica, which I do not know, and downtown. One of them's over here at Gimbal's. And while we're here, we might as well... Anybody down here? No. Might as well check our email. Paid favors. So Mercury wants us to stop by. Because we didn't run him out. Except... Well, we kind of did. It's just LaCroix didn't believe us because we ratted out everyone. And it sounds like an unbelievable story whenever you hear it all at once. The guy who always pees on the side is not here. I mean, he will be soon because he has like a bladder infection or something, but... I do not want to Hop in. Ribbit, let's go. Hey, uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? I do not see death over you anymore. Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Um. <laughs> Welcome. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be <sighs> important to you. Do you really want to help travel with me? Now we do have the companion mod, Flight, which I think allows Heather and someone else to travel with you. Yeah, travel with me. Is there something I can do for you? Anything, just ask. There is a truth you must know, my pet. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? No, I am the undead. That makes sense. It all makes sense. Those feelings that something's there in the dark? It wasn't my imagination. It's not crazy at all. I am so proud.
proud of you. It's like you've pulled the shades off my mind's window. I can see now. There's a whole world out there. It's mind-blowing. And it only gets better. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. I just want to be with you. What can I do to show my appreciation? Uh, open your wallet? Um, here, here, that's all I've got. Yeah, she's traveling with us now, I think. This should be interesting. I have no idea how well she does as a companion. If she can even fight or... Evening, Missy. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? He is impatient with yeah, me. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his. My thanks, beefy scarecrow. Yeah, I have no idea if Heather can fight or die. That'd be unfortunate if we let her into battle just for her to... I've said all I need to for now. Oh, oh, straws, your, your red jacket, that was unpleasant. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. The decks, the decks were washed with the blood of sea. And the Ankoran sarcophagus. What did you see? Bloody hands crept out from within and made wonderful patterns all over. Opened? That's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Oh yes, I wondered about them all this time. Those were the primogen. This city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. Grout, I cannot find this name. I should not go. Each minor problem, like a grain of sand. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? Yes, where does this body go? Yes, uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. My body moves now. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service Aha, to me, we I got have secured the apartment. your haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Yes, and get my pet there, too. My pet that's right here listening in on the super secret vampire conversation. And now we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping from our Santa Monica days. You know, get those quests out of our log. Including Regent's Riddle. Where are we going here? You, Heather, you're in my way. Heather. 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 There we go. There we go. Hey, you got the same painting, painting as LaCroix. You guys are really obsessed with the Cain and Abel thing, huh? Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Blood magics and betrayal, and the true king upon his throne. Ah. A child of Malkav, no less. Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? 
shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. The glass is cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate, more than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence, to see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. On your head an iron crown, and the jester, ju and the jester dances before you. And we know that LaCroix is the jester, so... Hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Tell me of this dark city of angels. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Okay, fine. <laughs> but memory is rarely a gift of the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Ah, a weathered horse runs among us. It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Perhaps I might probe the problem of this pestilence. Try saying that three times fast. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. And what else? We need to go to the Skyline Apartments 2A to look for Muddy Mike Durbin to kill Patrick. But since we're on this side of town, we might as well go to the last round and talk to the Anarchs about the disease that is plaguing the downtown area. And then, you know, agree to look into it on their behalf as well. So remember, we're trying to see all the endings here, which means being nice to all the factions. So that chase you in here, Cammy? You are the damsel of distress, yes? I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass! The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. I give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do-girl for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it? The words of sevens and eights I ignored, but to nines I listened. All right. Maybe you're not completely that shit. Something is plaguing you. What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. Help my mind digest this creature. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough to get sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Can't you just shoo the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. My neck owes a debt to the Anarchs. What shall I do? One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. I will touch the school in his mind secret places. <laughs> Wait, that does not if sound Paul's good. not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I will spread my mind around the city of angels. See you, damn sale. The Skyline Apartments. There are a few other quests that lead us there later on. I'm debating picking one up. 
But you know what? I think we will. Because I like to get this quest nice and early. And it's, of course, one over here in the abandoned hospital. Help me! Help me! It's got them. It's, it's coming for me now. It's coming for me! You are tangled in fear, little fly. Did you see the Black Widow? Black Widow? Black Widow! Spiders! Spiders! Spiders and flies! Spiders! Flies! <laughs> Not it. It was out of, out of nowhere. The Black Widow waits for me. Do not flee, fly. I shall return. Okay, come on, Heather. I hope you're good at crouching and climbing up things that should not be climbed. Because I am. Though admittedly, the vents are always nice and person-sized. It's kind of like how everybody keeps their deepest secrets on their computer and then leaves a note telling their password. It's all very convenient. For me, I mean, not, not so much for them. That's a lot of blood. Someone's a messy eater. I don't know what she did to make him pop like that, but... It was impressive nonetheless. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Do you also eat other spiders, Widow? Child of Malkov, you should understand better than any other the debilities of some of these bloodlines. A spider? No, they drink only blood. My own condition is more like the mantis. I must also eat the flesh of these kind to survive. Black Widows weave tangled webs in the dark. How do I address you, Widow? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why did you build your web here, Widow? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. I will catch the fly for you, like honey. as a Skyline Apartment. There we go. Got a bunch of quests and Skyline Apartments. Let's go to our place first, which I believe is Fort. Heather, you're in the door. You're just... Okay. Well, bye. I guess she's taking the stairs. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, to this two-man job that I am proposing. Good luck to you. You are already on your way. I shall see you soon. Bye. Okay. We got a message from Money Mike. Calling him an associate and an associate for a job at the place across from the bar, which is the last round they're talking. And here's Paul, the dead ghoul. Hi, Paul. 
all the Anarchs. It's Hannah. Just call him and see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Ugh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pick me up some cold medicine at the store? <laughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. <laughs> the code on my door is 1203. Hey, listen, I, uh... One, two, three. I had a really good time the other night. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. Where's Heather going while I'm crawling through the vents? Because she shows up, but she's not crawling after me, so I have no idea how she's managing to teleport. One, two, all three. Take the key from behind the pot. Give me the key. I don't go over there, base. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? Paul was blinded by the light. What? <coughs> Who are you? I'm gonna call the police. Uh, let the veils of madness paint you a vision of Paul. Yeah. Pretend I'm Paul. No, supernaturally. Oh, I, knew it was you. <coughs> I knew you'd come to take care of me. Tell me of the sickened spider that bit you. Oh, Paul. You say the most beautiful things. You want to know how I got sick? <coughs> how sweet of you to ask. Tell me your tale. <coughs> Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Did you dance with the spider little fly? No, where was the web of this black widow? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> Paul, I really like you. You were so nice to me the other night. I don't, I don't meet a lot of guys like you. We will share many more of those moments. Yeah, let's be nice to her. I hope so. I really do. <coughs> May your wings take you to higher places, little fly. <gasps> yeah. It's good that we get some humanity because it'll prevent us from frenzying so much. And now we know where to find Jezebel Locke, who is one of the plague bearers. But we have more to do in this hotel, and that is finding the guy from the hospital. Get up, Heather. Heather. Devoured all the flies, yeah, all dead. Hey, but how did you? What are you? Your final sight. Hey, hold it! <sighs> Look! And now we go back to the Black Widow, Pisha. Pisha? You could go to the Empire. Arms Hotel, because it's right there, and it's where one of the plague bears is, you know. But I'd rather go to, to the Black I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I ate him. So yeah, we're gonna go. She gives some really good prizes. And if you'll remember, somebody called Muddy Mike Durbin and told him and his associate to meet them across from the bar, which we know is the last round. So that's where we're going next. I'm trying to find Muddy Mike so we can collect his bounty for Gilpatrick.
Oh, that's pretty grisly, isn't it? And talk to this guy? Did you see it? Tell your eyes to speak. These two guys, that guy and another, and uh, well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Continue. Uh, they was waiting on someone. Uh, they were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Ah, the shadow-cloaked killer stepped from his dark domain. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I'd like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. What did the shadows then reveal? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What words from this dark devil? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure that that guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. And we got a lucky star room key dropped by the dead guy. Which is a good place to start looking for Muddy, who's apparently being hunted by a serial killer for revenge of some sort. And we are officially as up to date with the Santa Monica Plus as we can be, which means they are out of our log forever and ever. And now we can work on fun with pestilence on a plague for the angels by talking to the homeless. Well, Apparently the assless chops provide an armor rating. Who knew? Probably proponents of assless chops. But yeah, now we're dressed up like a cowboy. And that's good for reasons. Seriously don't understand how this has a higher armor rating, but sure I guess. Okay, three is gonna be blood hell. Dementation, hysteria, it's gonna be four. Babbles, five. So, four, five, six is what we gotta do. I can remember that. Can you remember that? Hey, Tim Bell. I see you wear the Dark Brothers mark. <laughs> Dark brother. What are you talking about? It's just me, old Tin Can Bill. Now leave an old man alone to sleep in peace. I don't want to be bothered unless you've got a bottle to share. Okay, I'm gonna save it here because there are a few jumps. A few jumps required. And I don't know if I can actually do them. No! Okay. I'm trapped forever. And Heather's just floating there. Okay. We know. Until you are dead. 
after Heather again. probably tell her to let me do the fighting because she's not very good at it and she ruins my special 4-5-6 combo. Vote Robert Thor. Pictures of cute puppies. Well that's an effective ad campaign if I've ever seen one. So we made good progress this episode. Remember to like if you like and subscribe for more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.